Location, location, location. Well, here we are at the subway stop in Union Square. Location, pretty prime. Access, unbelievable. Probably one of the biggest transit hubs in New York City, or in my mind, if you're looking for office space, one of the most centralized. Whether you're coming from Penn Station, Brooklyn, Grand Central, the PATH train, probably 90% of all subways stop within or are here, or within a block of here. So let's go upstairs and see what we come out to. I change my souls every two months, pounding the streets of Manhattan. Tribeca, Nomad, Uptown, Midtown, Fifth Avenue, Soho, Wall Street. 20 years and $500 million of office space later, the Manhattan skyline keeps growing and I can't get enough of it. My name is Michael Kaufman, I'm a commercial real estate broker, and this is the Manhattan Office Space Vlog. <laughs> What a transformation, right? Welcome to Union Square. A hybrid mix of hotels, multi-multi-million dollar apartments, and you wouldn't believe the epicenter of some Fortune 500 companies have their headquarters right in this neighborhood. Why? Because it's cool. Why? Because you can walk to work. Why? There's places to eat. Why? It's got every subway. Why? The spaces, the buildings have character. Most of these buildings are 80 to 100 years old. They're not your typical building. Okay, it's New York City, and I gotta take you to a place that obviously shines. This space is occupied by a private equity firm by the name of NEA. They've been around 30 years, and more importantly, they know what they want or who they are. How you work, what are your goals? What is the company's culture? How do you interact? And ultimately, what's the utopia you'd love to create for you and your employees to be the most successful and happy? Remember, you spend more time in the office than you do at home. The people who work here have the positive, high ceiling feel, attitude, creative, developers, um, not just money in mindset, in terms of building success, changing the world. If you notice, the theme keeps going, collaboration. Everything is glass. People have privacy at the same time. Everyone has a line of sight to each other from one side to the other side of the space. So even though they work on things that are very hush hush, everybody still has eye contact. Doors are almost always open. And look at the center of the space, which I would say is called town hall. All your meetings, all your drop your armor type of think tank ideas happen at a table like this. Some popcorn, go to the refrigerator, go to the kitchen, grab a seat on the couch. This is truly a role model for a company who has defined a mission statement about the type of space and who they are and created uh, from a block of clay, a masterpiece. So different industries usually choose typical type spaces. When you think law firm, you think drop ceiling, mahogany, hate to say, boring old school movies. But then you take a gentleman like David Klein, who's the managing partner of Klein, uh, Moynihan, and uh, Turco, and David had a different outlook because his law firm is not like other law firms. David, tell us why we finally ended up choosing this space. Sure. So we represent new media clients, technology clients, cutting edge, what I like to call young rock stars that are following Very the true. next big thing, mostly online, internet, telemarketing. And we essentially do marketing law when it comes down to it. So I told Michael that I wanted something that was in the Midtown area. Um, some of us live in Long Island, so we can just walk across the street. We're right across from Penn Station. And he found us a bunch of spaces. Ultimately, we picked this. This is an old building that's been renovated. We're on the 40th floor. We have panoramic views of the city. We, we can see the Empire State Building. Um, we can see the Statue of Liberty and the river here. And what we have is a very modern look. We have um, exposed pipes and duct work, and it allows the light to go through the space. It projects a bigger feel 
than it would be otherwise. And it's real sleek and modern, and uh, we love it. Now, and your clients relate to it, correct, David? Yeah, the clients like it a lot, particularly where they come into the conference room. We have this big table. Now, obviously, we're attorneys, so it can't be op all open space. We all need our individual offices. So we have privacy when we're on conference calls or, or meetings that take us out of the conference room. And uh, we've been real happy. Yeah, and ultimately, more importantly, it fits their brand. And that's the theme of what we've been talking about. Every company is different. Not every law firm is the same law firm. It's more important of who they are and who they're catering to and who they want to identify as or identify themselves as, correct? Absolutely. Sure. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate Thank your time. You. Companies all have goals when it comes to looking for office space. But most of the time their goal is to get something that's bigger, better, not always bigger, but better than before. Let's make it the best, the newest. In order to create this opportunity, you have to go out and get educated to the market. You need to look at space. You need to evaluate your current situation and what else is out there. If I told you I'm going to get you the best slice of pizza in the world, I only gave you one slice. You may say it's good, it's bad, but I think you need a couple other slices to compare it to in order to understand which is the best slice of pizza. New York City office market is as crazy as this town, but I'm there to help. So if you have any questions, comments, or maybe I can help you find your newest space, hit me up. Always happy to help. Thanks. See you next time.